the big four. G-Man first, of course. He's numero uno. Shani. And her husband, Rev. Then you have the infamous Von Helton. Those are the big four in y'all's spear over there, Villa. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a video called Don Gordito's Addiction. And in that video, I used G-Man as an example of something. But one of the things I talked about was how G-Man created a circle of people. A circle of people formed around him because of his attacks on atheism and religion. But in that video, my point was to bring up what I talk about from time to time, which is classism. I didn't bring up G-Man in that video for the reason of classism, but here I will. All right, y'all. <clears throat> I think I need to make a, a distinction between me and some of other G-Man's other detractors, so to speak, right? I'm not necessarily looking for conflict with anybody, right? And with G-Man, you know, I have a dislike for some shit he does. I have a dislike for some shit he said to me directly. But, like, I'm not looking for conflict with this cat, you know, every other day or things of that sort. Like, I ain't really into it. Like, I said pretty much what I needed to say to him the other day. And outside of that, hey man, I'm just going to say what I got to say. And I'm going to be done with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no point in me and G-Man going back and forth, or anybody else for that matter, going back and forth on and on and on and on. The big four. Those are the main ones that are talked about. But G-Man is the one on deck right now in this commentary. Grand Villain, let me tell you something. G-Man started that over there. He built it. You in his house, but thinking you can tell him what to do and how to act. G-Man owns all of y'all. That's why you don't did all them videos talking about how you're going to stop focusing on G-Man. Over there sounding like you're trying to stop drinking. Or like me when I used to tell myself that I'm going to just have one more cigarette. Go up to the gas station to buy Lucy and I end up going back and forth six times a day to buy one single cigarette. You do them videos. You just did another one yesterday, talking about how you uh, are going to move on. Then hours later, you was right back at G-Man and associated with other people that are also addicted to him. Let me tell you this. It is greater and far beyond pathetic that you're on the world wide web, but can't get four people off your mind. The whole world is on here, but four people got you. That is a goddamn shame. And you know it. That's why you be doing those videos talking about, I'm done. I'm going to move on from here. Whatever, whatever. Oh. Whatever, whatever. I do what I want. Now, what you going to do about what I just said? Tell me you grown and you can do what you want to do. And it, you can do what you want to do. But I'm not trying to tell a grown man what to do with their time. I'll get to why I'm bringing this up in a second. There's a reason why I said that it's G-Man's house. It's G-Man land. And he owns y'all. I'll get to that in a second. But let's see you even try to get off G-Man. And I bet you'll go through withdrawals. Withdrawals like people who are trying to come down off heroin. Now, about... I think it was about three months ago, you did some old trifling video where you were talking about tradesmen. And of course, your inspiration for that was G-Man and Von Helton, two of the four horsemen. And you said something in there. I won't say what it was because I want you to keep doing it so I can hit you upside the head with it maybe some other time. I want you to get worse with it. So I ain't going to say what it was. But when you said what you said, and you said a bunch of stuff in that video that made no sense at all. But when you said that, you did it over and over. And you've done more videos doing that same thing. But anyway, when you said that, you said that, right? So I was like, I said, wait a minute, let me go through your channel. 
I started looking through a bunch of your videos and you know what I found? I found that you can't get through more than two videos without talking about G-Man and or the other three who are his buddies. That is pathetic, villain. Three videos tops is the most you can get through before you return to the owner of the house who built it. Those topics you, you know, when you call yourself talking about something else where you are uh, seemingly not talking about the big four, not saying their names or nothing. I go to the channels and find out that they was talking about that same thing and you're responding to them. Again, G-Man owns you, mind, body, and spirit. And don't try to give me that not in your real life stuff because you be at work or on your way to work or on your way back from work talking about G-Man in your real life. Sitting in that office or in your car traveling talking about him mostly and or the other three. Now, to whoever else that's listening, G-Man is somebody that they try to look down on. Villain and the others categorize him as uh, uneducated, uh, a lowlife, a, a bum. They look at Rev, Shani, and Von Helton the same way. They like to try to, you know, toss their education up at G-Man. Their certificates of completion and their diplomas and other things that are irrelevant. In proof of how irrelevant y'all's uh, uh, self-perceived success in life is, is how y'all orbit around him, the uneducated, unskilled bum who owns y'all. Y'all's real problem with G-Man is the same thing I've talked about from time to time about classism. You look up and you see this person who y'all see as an uneducated bum with the footing on here. And it burns y'all's inner soul to the core that he didn't need y'all's qualifications of success to do it. Y'all hate that. You like to parade yourselves around as being of this higher intelligence, but can't get who y'all see as a less than out of your minds. G-Man will come on here and do what he been doing for years. He'll come on here and say the stupidest shit known to mankind. Like when he'll be saying, like when he'll say something like being an atheist is no better than being a rapist. And you know what y'all who are of higher intelligence will do? You fetch it like dogs. Like pets, you get on here for hours and hours and for months and for months and for years trying to debunk it. And he does it to y'all over and over again. But y'all are so much smarter than him, though. Other dumb shit he'll throw out there for y'all like lying is the same thing as committing genocide and y'all chase it while G-Man looks on like an owner holding a laser pointer. And he's able to do this to y'all without having all that success in life that y'all try to prop up over him. Y'all hate that. Like when he says he's a tradesman, you desperately try to lessen him by recategorizing him as a laborer and you fail every time but i also do not like like i don't like when people try to lord over their education on people like i don't like that either right there are people who do that and g-man may feel as though somebody's doing that to him it's the same with my job i had to go to school for my job i had to learn an tra actual trade this cat claims you a tradesman no you are not, you are not a carpenter. You're a laborer. And that in and of itself is a trade. There's you said that recently, but you've done that before. Struggled with the truth right there, just like you've done the other times. 
say, no, you're not a tradesman. They're going to turn around and say, yeah, you're a tradesman, but. Ain't no but, man. Because he don't have the same certificates that, that you got. You fail. Tradesmen, tradesmen don't necessarily need not one single piece of paper that they got out of anybody's classroom. And that's not my opinion. That's a fact. That's why you've struggled against it. Like when you try to lessen him by calling him a laborer and says he does menial, nobody tasks like removing as, asbestos. Let me tell you something, villain. How menial and meaningless are people like him when a place can't even be inhabited or occupied until that asbestos is cleared out. That wasn't a question. It was a statement in the form of a question. You struggled against the truth as to what a tradesman is. That's why you asking me all them questions and y'all be over there saying y'all need evidence and all that means nothing. Before y'all keep thinking that y'all are better than him, ask yourselves, how is it that he owns y'all? You know, like I heard a rich man say, I don't have that much education. I hire people with educations. Y'all like to toss around those descriptions at people. Education, intelligence, education, intelligence, education, intelligence. But how educated and intelligent are y'all when y'all's biggest opponents and adversaries on here are people who y'all describe as dimwits?